Hey guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and we've already unboxed two of the Samsung Galaxy Tab devices, Sprint's version and Verizon's version. Well now, it's AT&T's turn. The AT&T Samsung Galaxy Tab is in the house, and it's available for $649.99, making it the most expensive Galaxy Tab on the market. Let's take a look at it. So here's a Samsung Galaxy Tab with AT&T. Like I said, it's $649.99, so it's the most expensive of all the Galaxy Tab devices on the nationwide carrier. Special thanks to our friends at Samsung for hooking us up with a review unit. Special thanks to our friends at Best Buy Mobile also for hooking us up with some of these to give away to you in the Wampaw Bandit game. One thing I like about Best Buy Mobile, when you go in to get this, or you go in to get a phone, whatever for that matter, you walk out working. So from email to web to whatever, they'll help you set it up to where you get the most out of the device. Let's take a look at the package contents. You see Samsung Galaxy Tab, wall charger, USB cable, the same things that all the other Galaxy Tab devices come with. You know, the box is just a little bit different on the uh, on the outside. Android 2.2, access to AT&T Wi-Fi hotspots, video chat, front and rear facing cameras, and then on the back, uh, give some specs. Seven inch display, obviously, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, uh, Samsung's Android UI, which is TouchWiz, external micro SD card slot, uh, which supports up to 32 gigabytes. Now, the biggest difference design-wise, which we'll show you in a minute, but biggest difference design-wise is this has a SIM card slot, obviously, on the outside. Other than that, it's almost identical to the other one. 7-inch Android 2.2, as I said, swipe is pre-installed, 1 gigahertz processor, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and uh, and let's take a look. You can see there, okay, $50. And this has been unboxed before. Uh, this has been out for a couple weeks. It was unboxed for uh, before I didn't get on the priority list. I, uh, I asked for it just one step too late, but it's been unboxed with the stickers are still on, so we can see what it looks like. You can see the uh, the back's a little bit different. It's the the carbon fiber back, and it has the AT&T logo there in the middle. Same camera, same flash, and then on the front, $50 rental credit. Ooh, that sounded good. And here is the device. If you, if you think, hey, this looks exactly the same, well, it does, with the exception of the SIM card slot on the right side. Micro SD card slot as well. Volume rocker, power button, and then on this side, microphone. On the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the bottom, charging port and speakers. You know, one thing I like about this tablet is, as opposed to something like the iPad, very easy to hold in the hand. Feels feels fantastic in the hand. And we'll power that on, and we'll keep going through the box. Now that said, if you've seen the Galaxy uh, tab unboxings, you know what's in here for the most part. Here's some customized AT&T stuff. Welcome to AT&T. I didn't purchase it, but you are welcome. Samsung Galaxy Tab Quick Start. Yada yada. So you get a nice little pamphlet for reading. And then in the box, you get the AC adapter module with your uh, US charger here, or US adapter. It goes down in there and makes the uh, makes the AC adapter module. So that's there, and then you get the, uh, the USB charging port with a Samsung proprietary port instead of a micro USB charging port. So that may be a frustration for some, but still it's not a not a huge deal. I mean, somebody else that I know does it. Cough, cough, <coughs> Apple. So that's there. And then you get your instruction manuals in the bottom as well. Health and safety and warranty guide as well. Let's take a look at the box. Was I thought, didn't it say? Let's see. Headset jack. No, I guess not. Sorry. I thought it came with, uh, for whatever reason, I thought their version came with a uh, some earbuds, but I get, but it doesn't. So I read the, uh, read the box wrong. But there's all that stuff. Let's take a look at the device itself. Sim's not provisioned. Didn't come to us activated, but you will get an idea uh, in between now and the review of what it looks like. You can see the uh, the AT&T widget here. We're checking the SIM card, and it'll come back and say failure, and it'll say please call 1-800-331-0500. But uh, you can get an idea of what it looks like. Little customizations like the Galaxy S line, those little customizations that make it different from... Uh, the other, it's brothers and sisters on the other carriers. Five icons in the top, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, silent, orientation lock, brightness is available as well. It has five home screens, as you can see, with daily briefing, which is Samsung's, just as it sounds, the daily briefing widget. And down here in applications, we'll take a look. And it has some AT&T stuff, like AT&T hotspots. Uh, let's scroll through here. My AT&T and uh, yp.com, yellowpages.com. Nook is also pre-installed on this device as well, but for you know, for an AT&T device, a carrier that gets criticized on a regular basis, at least with their Android lineup, for putting too much bloatware on the device, that's not too bad. 
uh, uh, given you know given their history. Let's take a look at applications. Now have a look at this. You, know, you can't sideload applications. It's a typical AT&T Android device. So you, uh, so you can't sideload applications. They have to come from the Android market. So that could be a frustration for some that, uh, that like sideloading applications. Otherwise, very similar. Running Android 2.2 or Froyo. The widgets are uh, the same. It has AT&T Account Manager widget on this device. Otherwise, all the Samsung TouchWiz and typical Google widgets are pre-installed. Let's take a look at the wallpaper here, and we'll see. Live wallpapers has the Aurora, 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 Aurora. Say that three times. Nexus, planted a couple of different live wallpapers. And then you have your standard wallpapers, which these differ uh, a little bit from device to device. Not that much, but you can see there are a couple of custom ones on the AT&T device, on the AT&T Galaxy Tab that you didn't see on the Sprint of the Verizon Galaxy Tab. So cool little things like that make these customized or make them different from their counterparts and the other carriers. Let's see. We'll edit that. We'll add. Bam, bam. We'll add one more. So you can add up to nine home screens on this one, just like the other ones. And then it represent, it's represented over here by, uh, by which screen you're on. So we're on three. Let's say we want to make that the home screen. I'm going to see if I can move that down there. So it'll be right in the middle, which it really isn't the middle, but that would be, there isn't a middle. Four and a half would be the middle. So you can't make it in the middle, but you get the idea. You can move those around. You can customize the screens and make them your own. Let's go into market and see if it'll let me. No, I'm, I'm an idiot. I have to set up the Google account. That's right. But uh, otherwise, you know, very similar to the uh, the other Galaxy Tab devices on the market. Much more coverage to come on the AT&T Samsung Galaxy Tab and all of the Galaxy Tabs, for that matter, on PhoneDog.com. On the topic of tablets, be sure to head to uh, Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Like us. Enter our sweepstakes where you have the chance to win a Galaxy Tab, BlackBerry Playbook, or Apple iPad. We're giving away up to 100 of those. You have a pretty good chance of winning one in 5,000. That's a pretty good contest in my book, and you can win one of these if you so desire a Playbook or an iPad. So check that out on Facebook.com slash PhoneDog, and check it out. We're giving away Nexus S devices as well. Also, be sure to like me on, uh, like me, follow me on Twitter, phone dog underscore Aaron. Ask me any questions you have about this, the Nexus S, life, why is the sky blue, why is my hair so awesome? You can ask them all, phone dog underscore Aaron, because I'm awesome and I love to hear from you. That's the only thing I can think of. Thanks for watching. Much more coverage to come on the Galaxy Tab series on phonedog.com. We'll see you next time.